Welcome to Sunshine Cathedral's Queer God Squad. It's Monday, May 6, 2024. I am Rev. Dr. Darrell Watkins, the Senior Minister here at Sunshine Cathedral. I am Rev. Dr. Robert Griffin, the Executive Minister. Faith and religion can be complicated for the LGBTQ plus community. Surveys show that evangelical faith is a justification for the greatest attacks on the LGBTQ plus community. I am Rev. Kevin Tisdall, the Minister of Education. The Queer God Squad is going to explore our religious community. Let's explore the big news of the day and what it means to you. I am Rev. Dr. Ann Atwell, the Minister of Connections. This is live, and then we are available on demand. We are available on all smart televisions and your favorite social media. At Sunshine Cathedral, we are here to tell you that you are God's miracle, not God's mistake. This is the Sunshine Cathedral's Perspective. Hartford Institute for Religion Research says Sunshine Cathedral may represent queer faith future. Amid the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, religious communities have embraced innovative technologies to adapt and thrive in the face of adversity. The Hartford Institute for Religious Research's new study, Explore the Pandemic Impact on Congregations, highlights the significant shift in attitudes towards technology within religious con con congregations. The study mentions Sunshine Cathedral of Fort Lauderdale for harnessing technology to ensure its survival and the ever-evolving landscape of religious communities. Located, as Harford reports, in the, quote, gayest place on earth, end quote, the congregation initially started with a basic one-camera setup for streaming services. Now, they boast professional broadcasts accessible on various platforms like YouTube, Roku, uh, Facebook, and Roku, enhancing accessibility and engagement for members turning, tuning in from home. Um, I actually quoted in a report on the congregation's technology improvement saying, quote, it's kind of like watching the original Star Trek compared to the latest Star Trek, end quote. With a professional broadcast team of the Happening Out Television Network as a partner, Sunshine Cathedral now tracks hundreds of thousands of views across multiple platforms. Epic Research underscores Sunshine Cathedral's distinctiveness among similar congregation. While most, 53%, rely on a single streaming platform, 13% utilize three or more, mirroring Sunshine Cathedral's approach to reaching a broader audience, seeking a welcoming environment beyond Fort Lauderdale. Um, we come a long way. <laughs> uh, we have come a long way. I remember in the early days when we uh, got here and there was some streaming going on then, but it was like, like I said, it was a one camera thing. And uh, I mean, when we started doing some of our early uh, talk show things that would be uh, in one of the rooms here mm -hmm. uh, yes. located, and it was one guy, and here we are sitting behind a table all bunched up together <laughs> uh, next to each other. Uh, and and now, you know, we would record the service in the morning time. We would stream it live in the afternoon. And now we have this ability to stream live uh, coming right into people's home, uh, not only locally, but also globally. I mean, uh, this past week, I think for the last three weeks now, uh, we've been having someone who, who's watching us from China. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and so we have uh, the ability to really uh, reach out and grow our ministry in a way that uh, I never thought fanimal, but you know, kind of dreamed about, but like, wow, this has actually happened, that we can really grow beyond the physical location of 1480 Southwest 9th Avenue uh, and be uh, bringing a progressive, positive message right into people's home, wherever they are. And the thing I like about being available on uh, several different platforms is one of the stories I always tell, I'm always aware that one person somewhere Yes. Yeah. Uh, that is not able to come out, has no community, but at this point in time in life has that iPhone that they can tune into and be wherever they need to be and watch mm -hmm. something related to the message of Sunshine Cathedral that gives them hope, that gives them uh, uh, inspiration. And maybe that one place that one day they'll say, I can't wait to go to the gayest place. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. And it's, um, you, you have to, you have to live where you live. Mm -hmm. And where we live in the 21st century is not limited geographically. We don't just live in, in a particular space anymore. We, I mean, Amazon, uh, that has just taken over the world, Amazon, uh, Kindle, mm -hmm. you, you don't, not only do you not have to go to the bookstore to buy a book, your book doesn't even have to be a book. Mm -hmm. Your book can just be electronic information, mm -hmm. same book. Yeah. Um, we pay our bills online. Uh, when was the last time you mailed a bill anywhere? You know what I mean? Uh, we podcast, uh, 
like is which is like radio on demand and you know podcasts. Every, that's our world. Mm -hmm. Online banking, and uh, so our world is is a hybrid world now. Our world is the Jetsons. Mm -hmm. Remember, yeah, remember the big yeah. screen, uh -huh. and you'd have the doctor yeah, check uh -huh. up, yeah. and yep. and the boss would call on the big screen, and you know, and um, that that's our world. Yeah. Uh, and 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 the robot house cleaner, we Rosie, we, Rosie. We, Rosie. <laughs> well, now we got Roomba. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's our world. And so, if we're going to retreat into the way we've always done it, we're going to miss the world we're actually living in. Mm -hmm. And the world we're actually living in uh, is is hybrid. So yeah, there are places that my body needs to be in, but fewer and fewer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, even online dating, you know, yeah, okay, eventually we're going to have to meet face to face, <laughs> but everything up to that, you know, like we don't have to cruise a bar, we don't have to cruise the gym, we don't have to be introduced by friends, we don't have to meet at a party, we can just do all that online, and then finally, okay, dinner. But all that preliminary stuff can be online now, I hear, because uh, we're from way before that. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. so I don't know exactly how it works, but I see people, I see it happening. <laughs> I know people <laughs> are doing it. And then they'll say, oh, I, you know, I met on Bumble or whatever. Uh, what? Okay, yay. So that's the world. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to minister to the world, we've got to be, We've got to be part of that world. Mm -hmm. And uh, necessity was the mother of this invention mm -hmm. uh, in COVID. If we were going to have church, we had to do it this way because nobody could come inside. And we had an explosion because of that. Right. And we've tried to keep up with that ever since. And so, yeah. Uh, and, and then when people came back from COVID, churches all over, attendance is down. Some churches have closed. Giving is down. People used to come twice a month, now come once a month. People used to come every six weeks, now come once a quarter. And so, but what we have found is People that that used to come twice a month, and now maybe they come once a month, they are online almost every yes. Sunday that they don't come. Yeah. So, inst so it's not that they've gone from two to one, it's that they've gone from two to four, they've just changed and it. they didn't have to spend gas money to do it. Mm -hmm. And so, because we are part of the world, that we, we've been able to grow with the world. And so, uh, it's just all very practical, really. And more and more people are getting the message now that you are God's miracle and not God's mistake. That that uh, there's not a spot where God is not. Mm -hmm. That your sexuality is a gift. It's not a curse. It's not something to be ashamed of. It is a gift, a divine gift for you to celebrate and uh, share responsibly. So um, I, I think people need that message. And many more people are hearing that now than could ever fit in our room, yeah. mm -hmm. even if we had 10 services yeah. uh, because of this. And so it's, it's economical, mm -hmm. it's efficient, it's needed, and most importantly, it's the world we live in. Yeah. Right, right. Um, our world keeps getting smaller mm. because of all the technology that's available. I actually remember before the pandemic when somebody in our congregation was broadcasting the Christmas Eve service via Facebook. Do you remember yes. that? Yes. Do you remember mm -hmm. that? Had a phone. Exactly. That's what it was. It was we were so perfect. thrilled. We were so oh my God. <laughs> and that, that's what I was thinking. Um, we saw each other, I think, at a restaurant afterwards, and mm -hmm. you came up to our table and said, oh my gosh, Ann, 2,000 people watched our Christmas Eve service. I think it was 200. Was it 200? Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. it was 200. Okay. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> We were so excited that more people than we had anticipated saw our Christmas Eve service. Yeah. And now I have family members who live in rural Pennsylvania who will drop me a text and, oh, I really liked that reading that you did on Sunday. <laughs> they watched mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. They watched our church. And something like that was never, ever possible. Yeah. They know now. I mean, yes. like you said, they are God's miracle, not God's mistake. They know that now. And across six venues, uh -huh. our, our Sunday morning service, uh, uh, two venues, uh, this this uh, this show that we do, uh, one venue, Daily Prayer, mm -hmm. uh, between all of that, we have 40,000 people engaged with us Yes, every every week. Mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't have done that any other way. Right. Remarkable. I bet you'd never thought about it back in 2001 and 2002 up in New Jersey. <laughs> Darrell was our senior minister at our church in New Jersey. I was his deacon. And we started recording um, our services on one camera and, and, and dropped the VHS tapes off at the studio. Yes. It was, it was oh, cable God. access. Okay. Yes. So I'm able to say that I remember when it all got started. And I don't think that any of us could have ever envisioned it growing to this size. And maybe people don't remember, but when our major streaming started in 2020. It was the week that the world shut down. <laughs> yeah. COVID shut down 
um, everything around the 13th to the 15th of March. And the 15th of March was our first. Uh, we launched it. Yes. We launched it one week. The room was half empty already yes. because people were scared about it. Yes. And then the next week, the world was shut down. Yes. Yeah. So we were one week ahead and really already was happening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we were already set up. Yeah. Happening out was present and, and had everything set up with their multiple cameras and, and, and professional staff. Um, and now the world gets to see us and they get to understand why we call ourselves the things that we do. Mm -hmm. The world's largest, largest progressive, progressive queer church, mm -hmm. because we are able to bring our message into the corners of the globe, China, mm -hmm. the yeah. corners of the globe that have never been able to see anyone or hear anyone that looks and sounds like them, mm -hmm. that, that feels the same way that they are maybe same sex loving, maybe they're pansexual, maybe they're asexual, whatever way they feel, they can come to Sunshine Cathedral every single day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. every single day and see themselves live and in color. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, and I don't think that um, Reverend Dr. Robert gets enough credit for the things that he does at our church, but to bringing in Happening Out Television, to the doing the um, Sunshine Cathedral um, Center for Performing Arts, that's this guy's brainchild, and my goodness, the world thanks you. <laughs> I had to say that. The, he... <laughs> just receive it, okay? Just receive it, <laughs> just receive it Gail. Just receive it. Just receive it. So no, it's 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 wonderful that we live in this at, at this time where we can do this, and we still need help. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, and it, but it's easier to help than ever before yeah. because now you don't have to drag your mother to church or drag your friend to church or drag your coworker to church. Oh, we're having a thing. Pack up you. Come to church. You can just say. Uh, here, look, check, look, click on this link or check this out mm -hmm. or you can just post it on your Facebook or on, on your Instagram. So it's easier than ever to let people know about us and invite mm -hmm. them into our, our experience. Mm -hmm. And so if you like what you see, Queer News Tonight, uh, uh, queer, well, that's another show, same network, uh, uh, Queer God Squad, uh, uh, Midday Prayer, Sunday Worship, just just post it. Invite people to it because uh, we want even more people to know about this and be part of this. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it, like it. Like yep. it and share, share it. Mm. All right. Well, that's today with the Queer God Squad. We want to thank you for joining us. We're here daily at 3 p.m. to have some fun and to discuss what our LGBTQ plus community is talking about. Sunshine Cathedral is the world's largest progressive queer church. Progressive, queer, and God are words that naturally should go together. And we are all in this together. Remember that you are God's miracle, not God's mistake. Until next time, we are the Queer God Squad. Goodbye.